You just saw some examples of the code you can write to implement properties in your classes. And the key thing to remember is that you can write as much code as you need to both get and set the value of a property. Let's say you have a customer class with an email property. It could be as simple as the user enters their email address and you store whatever they entered into that property. And then when it's time to retrieve the property, you just read whatever the user entered. Or maybe it's more complex than that. Maybe the user enters an email address and you then need to validate it. The email address should be of the form some word at something dot either net or com or org. Or maybe you need to write code to automatically generate their email address because the email address is their first name dot last name at whatever our company is dot com. The key thing is that you can write that code and you will write that code. So your properties appear pretty straightforward. It's class dot property equals something. But behind the scenes, the code that you write to implement that property can be as simple or as complex as it needs to be.